I'm Old Sneelock. After a trip to George Hooper's secret hiding place, I managed to get a outboard motor and it's a Sport Fisher 5 horsepower. Now it's going to take some work to get it running, but it might just work really well with a little red boat. That's the plan anyways. Well, I have the Sport Fisher up here on the 2x4 clamped into the vise. Has a fair amount of compression, but I'm not getting any spark. Nothing. That means I probably should take off the cover, pull the flywheel, and file the ignition points. Chances are, since this was built in 1970 or 71, the uh, points in the ignition system are pretty well corroded. Nice thing is, when you pull the engine over, the prop moves. That means the lower end seems to be all right. It's an air-cooled engine. It doesn't have a water pump. So it's got a uh, water-cooled exhaust system. That's that right there. but there's no uh, water pump to be screwed up on it. It does have what I'm told is a fuel pump, but I'm just seeing that as a block down there. Now, it might be a fuel pump. It might be something that works off a of vacuum on the engine block. I've got this little thing right here, so we'll see. This is one that has a remote fuel tank. The Eskas, which is, this engine really is an Eska. It's, it's the same Tecumseh power head as an Eska 5 horse. Uh, Eska made this for uh, Kmart back in 1970 and 1971. Must not have been a real popular model. But it doesn't look like there's anything mechanically wrong with it. I just got a, an issue with the spark plug not sparking. Now that turns back and forth. I wonder if that advances the timing on this thing. If it moves the magnet back and forth. Now let's see, even moving that. No spark. I guess the only thing to do I can see that it's moving that wire, so it's, it's moving the the igni ignition system underneath the flywheel. So I'll be pulling that off next, and we'll go into it and see what's going on inside those points. So we pull off this cover, and get down to where the flywheel is. Now somebody stripped out one of the holes for this quarter twenty screw. It's supposed to be a little cap screw like this one. So they replaced it with a bolt and a nut. I think we can put a helicoil in there and fix that.
had a Johnson 10 horse outboard and I was out on the lake with it with a couple of friends. We were out fishing and it wouldn't start. So I pulled the cover off and found that the float bowl had fallen loose. Well, I didn't have any tools with me. So I disassembled and reassembled the carburetor mount with a nickel. Yep, the nickel just happened to fit into the slot on the screws. And fortunately, it was held together with slot head screws. So I was able to take it apart. Now I'm going to be able to use this steering wheel puller to pull the flywheel. At least that's the plan. Oh, those are half inch. So that means they're 5 16 bolts. tiny little spring. One side had a spring on it and the other one didn't. Looks like I'm going to have to make another spring. Ah. That was not tight. Just not tight at all. Somebody's had this off recently.
and off it comes. It takes longer to set up than it does to get the bolt out, get the flywheel loose, but that little bit of setup can save you a whole lot of having to fix things later. Well, spiderweb's not good for it, but it's not going to cause it not to have a spark. At least not a spiderweb there. I got a feeling I've either got a problem with this capacitor or the points. So I'm going to open up the points to see what it looks like in there. It's been a long time since I had the points out of it to come see. Points don't look bad. I don't have a way to test that capacitor. Hmm. Carburetor's tied into a spark advance. With it on idle, the ignition is fully retarded or set back. With it on wide open, the ignition is advanced. Interesting. My old Harley 45 had an adjustment on the contact points. You could rotate the contact points for starting. That way you didn't <laughs> end up launching yourself over the handlebars. Well, I'm going to go get the camera, take a picture of this stuff and go down to see if I can buy a new capacitor and a new set of points. Because there's not much else to go wrong with. I mean, the coil can go bad. But seldom. There's not enough current in there to burn it out.
Okay. I'll go in and get my phone, take a picture of the points and the condenser. See if I can go down to the lawnmower shop and pick up another one. It's a Tecumseh. It's a standard package for ignition system on a Tecumseh. Four-stroke, two-stroke, they all look the same to me. So I'm betting they're pretty close. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.